All right, so today I'm going to try to do a quick tutorial to show you how you can manipulate SVG files a little bit more. And I uploaded a free file to my website for a cutout hard, I don't know what else to call it. But it's uploaded as one color, but I want to show you how you can change that to a couple of different colors. So let's just say you've already downloaded that and unzipped it on your desktop. And you're going to go and you're going to upload it to your Cricut. And I've already got it uploaded here. We're going to insert the image into our project. And to make things go a little bit faster, I'm going to delete some of the items in it. Just so I don't have so many different things to pick and choose what color they're going to be. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ungroup that. It's taken a little bit today. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of different things in there, but just for an example, Let's say that you made all of the solid hearts red and I think like I made all the leaves and one of the ones that I did this was all silver glitter and the outside of the heart was red glitter and these little leaves and stems in here were black glitter and I believe these hearts were also red glitter up here and I had all these little circles all over the whole heart those were done in silver glitter so I mean you can do however you want to do it but I'm going to take some of these items out for now just so we don't have to sit here and color everything oops keep that one nope I don't need to do that I have to move that to get there it is to get to that I must have had it too close so bear with me just for a minute here while I take some of these out I'm going to pause the video until I get this straightened around so you don't have to sit and watch all this. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I took out probably over half of the little designs that were inside this heart. And I just did that to make this video a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. So the first thing I did was I came in and I ungrouped everything which gives you all your layers over here to the right hand side and each layer button has a color dot on it so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick the colors that I want this to cut out to my heart itself you can see down here it's highlighted in the layers file I'm going to click on the little round black dot which brings up my color palette I'm going to make that red let's say I'm going to do that in red glitter um, the solid heart here, I'm also going to make red. And this solid heart, I'm going to make red. Let's do that with all of them. And then it looks like my other hearts are in pieces. So we've got to get both pieces each time. Here 
All right, I got a, oops, I got one little heart there, don't I? There it is. Now the rest of this, let's just say I wanted to do that in silver. So I'm going to click on that so it takes me to the layer. And I'm just going to use gray just so that the machine can tell what the different colors are. It's going to be gray. All right, so now you actually have a two color project here. And what I'm going to do, because you can make this two colors, three colors, you can make it 10 colors if you wanted to. <clears throat> I just want to show you how to separate these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all of the red layers for right now. Turn them off, turn them off, turn them off. And all these off. Got one more down here. There it is. Okay. So now you have all the gray areas that are showing, and you're going to hit Control A or select all and you're going to group those. That will put all those in one spot. Now we're going to go back here and we're going to turn all these on. All the red gets turned back on. Now we're going to come back up here all the way to the top to the group. We're going to close it and we're going to turn it off. Now we're going to do command A or select all and we're going to group the red. Now we're not done yet. So now that we've grouped the red, we're going to attach it. And then we can, oops, turn that off. Turn the gray group back on, maybe, there it is, and we're going to attach that. This keeps your design in line for however many different layers you're doing for the different colors. Okay, then we're going to turn everything back on, and we're going to save the project, which I'm not going to do right here, but you would save it, and then we're going to click make it. And let's see how we did. That would be your silver layer. Uh-oh. I did something wrong. That would be your red layer. So let's go back. And for some reason, I didn't get that attached. So let's turn off the gray layer. And let's get on the red layer. And click attach save it again let's click let me go back I didn't turn off the other layer I was still not wanting to do it Okay, 
I didn't have it all selected is what the problem was. All right, so now you've got both of them attached, as you can see up here in your layers. Save it. Make it. Third time's a charm, right? There's your silver layer. And there's your red layer. And they're lined up so that you can lay one over the other and apply them. And that's it for today's video. So I hope that makes things a little bit easier. Have a great day.